Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Christian Night. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here guys. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and help my channel grow. If you would like, right? So Cancer, hi Cancer. This is gonna be your reading. It's gonna be for is this a reading I did because a new portal opened for everybody here. A new cycle began you know, on a worldwide level and individually with the summer solstice, we just stepped into this new portal, summer solstice and uh, annular solar eclipse at zero degrees of cancer. Very important shift we went through. So this is a reading for that. Energy. So, cancer. Hmm. So yeah, it's happening in your sign. So yeah. Definitely feeling it for sure. Happy birthday to my cancers. I'm a cancer myself. My birthday's in July, though. Uh, happy birthday to the early cancers. So, cancer, whew, I don't know about you guys, but I was feeling very annoyed. I've been feeling, like, ups and downs of, like, feeling, like, supercharged and optimistic and then suddenly, like, very annoyed for no reason. I don't know. So, this happened in your sign, the annual solar eclipse. You guys are cardinal. You mark the beginning of summer. So, that's the solstice, the summer solstice. Um, in your seventh house opposite you, we still have Jupiter and Pluto. Saturn's about to enter as well. On, in your twelfth house, Venus is uh, direct now, so that's great. That brings a little bit of hope, right? A little bit of clarity, a breather. And you guys, the eclipse, you know, you do bring a little bit of uh, energy of newness, of like optimism to, to, to the world, on a world level, right? The summer too. Although we might be kind of stressed because we're like, where, where the hell are we going to go for summer now? You know? So, yeah. So, your 12th house is all about the subconscious, what you need to sacrifice. We have Gemini there. So, Gemini is your 12th house. We have um, Venus d direct, right? Venus is direct. And what else do we have in Gemini? I know there's something else. Oh, the North Node. I knew. So, definitely making decisions about your life. Be careful not to be carried away by overthinking or making big decisions, South Node and Sag, right? Expanding. Work on your environment, your immediate environment, okay? Because that's what is reachable right now. Because making big plans is not advised right now for anyone. Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, is in your sign too, and it's retrograde. So there's definitely an opportunity to seize here. Um... And to work on your immediate environment so that you feel comfortable. You're all about the home. So that you feel comfortable, safe. You're surrounded by your, by your loved ones. Venus direct. Venus rules money. It's the rule of Taurus, right? And Libra. And relationships. So it's like, get those sorted out, right? Get your finances sorted out. Get your um, your, 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 your roots founded out. Your, sorted out. Your foundation. And relationships as well. It's like, create the perfect environment for you to thrive right okay so let's see what we have here oh and mars is still in pisces with neptune so and it's going to be going into aries so that's going to bring a lot of friction for people people are going to want to go on these like expeditions like these wild like oh you know dream stuff like i'm going to go travel over there that's what i'm saying it's not possible here you know, that's that south node energy. We need to focus on our immediate environment. You know, what we can control, what we can see, touch, feel, Gemini, what's concrete. Okay? All right, Spirit, what do you for Cancers? Happy birthday, Cancer. Queen of the Moon Oracle, Cancer. All right. Queen of the Moon Oracle, Cancer. Yeah, what's your for cancer, please? I know some of you want to go by the water. Maybe you're lucky enough to be by the water. I'm not, and I'm dying. I think that's why I'm annoyed. Anywho, listen to this. Wow. Abundance and realization. Guys, I'm telling you, you need. This is that focus. This is that planning, that Gemini energy. This is putting your intention into something and building on it and seeing it be fruitful. 
This is finding out what brings you abundance, what makes you abundant. What is a reflection of abundance for you? It's realizing that and knowing it is around you, it's within you, it's tangible, it's reachable. It's not like something far sought out, far thought out, a dream, right? This is, this is like concrete energy here. It's real energy, tangible energy. It's, it's realizing, you know, it's like having it in front of you and identifying it. This is identifying your abundance and knowing it's, it's right here. It's right here. You don't have to reach so far. Okay? So that's beautiful. Cancer. We like those two cards. Now let's get some tarot. Can you see the cards? Hold on. So realization and abundance. That seems like a good birthday so far. Happy birthday again. I'm going to be saying it a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> it might be a little bit annoying. Anyway. So, this is the crystal reading tarot. Crystal. Wait a minute. Let me tell you guys. Crystal power tarot for cancer. What's going on, spirit, for cancer? What's the portal? What's the energy for the sun solstice? What is this abundance? What is this realization? What is it, spirit, for cancer? What's the vibe? What's the energy? One more time. There we go. Oops. Okay, this card wants to come out. Ace of Swords, there's that realization. Oh, yes. Breakthrough success. This realization is going to bring this breakthrough, which is going to lead to your success and your abundance. Amazing. Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Christ. I'm telling you guys. Plus, you guys are very intuitive. And Gemini being your 12th house, your intuition is not only felt like in your heart because you guys are very emotional. You're the mothers and everything. Very sensitive. But it's like, that's why you're so intuitive, Cancer. Because you have Gemini in your 12th house. And you're water. That's why you're one of the most intuitive signs here. Okay? That's why. And that's realization all day here. Three, expanding your... It's not like expanding your mind and like dreaming. Because like I said, it's like realizing what's real and what's not. Clarity. Ace of Swords. Okay? I go forward with confidence. Reverse, though. And this is your card. It's knowing that you. this is not the time to be super hopeful. This is your card. It's the chariot. Right here, it's like going forward successfully, fearlessly, just going for it. It's kind of like the fire in cancer, you know? After a hard battle, after hard times, you know, balancing your emotions, your sh you know, the light and the dark sh after shadow work and just get ready to take on the world but it's in reverse right this is i go forward confident with confidence but reverse you know you realize that this is not the time to be making big moves like i said this is what spirit is telling you this is not the time to be making big moves focus on your environment okay so that that will propel you at least it's a safety net. At least you have your safety net figured out. And from then on, everything is, is great. Everything is going to fall into place. Okay? This is not the time to be making bold moves, Cancer. See? This is Jupiter and Sag. And this is Cancer, right? Both of them talk about movement. Sagittarius, South Node, right? It's like, what, like, what are you going to do? It's your choice, though. But this is you. Like stepping back and not making bold moves and letting the spirit, you know, letting spirit give you those downloads, letting information come in and you sorting through that information and knowing and realizing what's real, what's useful, what's not. Okay, it's not, it's not about you going to people. This is about people coming to you. Okay, so this is what I'm hearing here. Let it come to you. With the chariot and the eight of wands, it's like let it come to you. That's what I'm hearing here. Clearly, loud and clear. Let it come to you. This was it reversed? Yeah. Then we have the Seven of Cups. 
this in reverse it's not a time for confusion here it's a time for focus and realization i'm gonna repeat it again it's not a time to go all over the place seven of cups it's confusion having different options not knowing which one to pick different directions not knowing where your heart is steering you to go because there's so much emotion involved seven of cups pisces energy not seeing the truth okay of a situation okay not being able to have a breakthrough and being all over the place emotionally and no direction confused this is not the time cancer it came reverse this is not the time to be confused like i said that's what i'm saying this is a time for clarity this is a time for pondering analyzing realizing and just you hold down the fort your fort because that's your fort that's your your shell that's your your security right hold the fort and you work on your environment and then you let the information come in the downloads information from spirit or information from people around you 3d whatever it is let it come to you okay because then you have the world celebrating the life and welcoming new energy let the world come to you cancer that's what i'm hearing let the world come to you the world this is jupiter and jupiter is in saturn with pluto and uh, sorry jupiter is in capricorn with pluto and saturn is going to re-enter capricorn it's going to be i mean you thought we were stuck before whoa get ready so Jupiter is not expanding, he's in, he's in Capricorn. Pluto is over there trying to clean stuff up. Saturn's gonna go over there, put more restriction. This is not the time to be out in the world and just going va va voom like a crazy, like, you know, with your crazy horses and being like, yes, I'm gonna go to, because nothing is assured right now, nothing. So hold your horses and let the universe come to you. Let the information, let the insight, let the signs come to you. Okay? This is what I'm hearing. One more card for cancer. Loud and clear. Let the universe come to you. You work on the abundance in your environment. Because you, when you are at peace, at ease, and surrounded by the people you love, and the things you love, when you're cocoon, when you're shelter. When your home is in alignment, you know, is, is the way you want it to be, which is often because we cannot live in a place that's not in alignment with us. If, well, no matter if it's messy, if it's clean, whatever, but it's our place, you know what I mean? So, as long as you are cool and serene in your inner environment, you are abundant because you are in alignment, you have security, and you being in that state, you will attract what you need, Cancer. You will attract abundance. You will think clear because you're not threatened. It's a source realization. You will attract this abundance because you become the abundance, okay? And this new energy can flow in because you're in a perfect energy. Victory comes after that. I love it. Six of Wands. Wow. Be proud of what you achieve and accept the rewards from that. Look at these cards. Abundance. Realization. Ace of Swords. Clarity. Knowing this is not the time to make a move. Letting the information come to you. Assessing it. Ace of Swords. Arriving at the realization of what you can throw and what you can t keep, right? Making a discerned judgment into what is real and what's not. Okay. After assessing. And then having the doors open up and you being totally successful. You taking a step, making a move, and it being the exact right move that you were supposed to make. All right, Cancer, amazing. Let the world come to you.
Look at that. Let the world come to you, Cancer. Chariot reverse. Let the world come to you. I love it. Okay, let's get some, look at this, strength at the bottom of the deck, another arcana. You have two arcana, three arcanas, which one of them is your card. I can deal with whatever comes my way. Let it come. You don't throw yourself in the lion's gate, in the lion's den, right? You be the lion in your own den, and you let them come in. And then you decide what to do with them, with the information, with whatever comes in, okay? Don't go in the lion's den. You let the line, you know, you be the den. You be the line in your den. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. All right, let's get a work your light here for cancer or call. Good things are coming to you, cancer. And all you have to do is be peace. All you have to do is be peace. And be at home. Isn't that lovely? Just having things come to you. Not having to move. This, all Spirit is asking right now is for you to be your best at home and wait for it. Okay? All right, Spirit, what else do we have for Cancer? Two cards. Yeah, and a grandmother of Jesus. I, did, I got this card too when I was doing my own reading. It says, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Yes, it's your foundation. You need to lay your own foundation, which is your surrounding, and let that divine plan, let the divine, let the divine, let those, let it come in. Eight of Wands, very spiritual energy, like information, blessings coming in, you know, downloads, luck, you know, Jupiter, okay? Divine plan. Like I said, all spirit is asking of you, Cancer, is that you... Lay foundations in your house, mother yourself, people you love, make sure you, you are in a secure environment and let spirit do its job. Let spirit do its job, okay? You are blessed. Do not worry, seed the light, okay? Grandmother of Jesus, next. Trust your path, yes, no need to rush. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? I love it, right? You are blessed, you are supported, Cancer. You don't have to do anything. Thing, but trust but trust I feel it I feel cancer something's about to fall in your lap up I mean it's like your happy birthday gift spirit is coming in with an awesome birthday gift for you and all you have to do is sit back and relax and wait for it and trust lovely lovely get another here this is the light worker Oracle and I'm gonna read from the book we're gonna get one card and then we'll get an angel message. Spirit, what do you for cancer? Please. Cancer, this is amazing. You are supported. You are supported. There's a divine plan here in action. That's why the chariot is reversed. You know, hold your horses. Divine plan is at work here. Look at that. Share it, reverse. Trust your path and divine plan. You lay solid foundations and you sit back, Cancer. You know, it's like when you're supported, you're like, okay, I'm supported so I could go on and do what I want. But it's not that energy here, you know? It's not. The chariot, your card is in reverse. It's clearly saying, hold back, fall back. And that means everything. Drama. Because this could be drama too, the eight of wands. Because you're cancer, the light, is, the light is shining on you. We just had a solar eclipse. <laughs> and it's the summer solstice. It's your birthday. You're shining. Stay out of drama. This is cancer. Hold back. Hold back, cancer. Hold back. All right, on everything that's external. Work on you and what's in what you know, what you can you know identify, what you what you have clarity on, what you have you know the deep knowing in you know. Stay away from confusion and outside energy. 
but that's a lot of cards. But I like that because I'm, I'm gonna take it. Initiation by air, because when I saw that, it reminded me of the Ace of Swords. Okay, and we're very emotional, right? We're all about the cups. But here, it's like such an energy of Cancer just totally owning their power, not letting their emotions, their empathy take over. And cancer being a boss, Cancer being a lion instead of being the lamb. Yes, you know, that's what I'm feeling here. And so you're stepping in your air energy. Like I told you, you're, you're, har you're, you're honing, harnessing that Gemini 12th house of yours. I'm telling you, Cancer, yes. Oh, yeah. Let's read it. 24. Very, very, very strategic right now. Very clear, level-headed. It's like your emotions, you know, are not... It's not like you're cold or anything, but it's just like... There's a certain, like, composure. You have composure, you know? It's like you have composure now. It's, it's powerful. It's the strength. This is what opened up for you, Cancer. It's you setting boundaries and just this 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 newfound um power of decision and not being influenced by your empathy or the emotions letting the emotions take over in what your decisions you know okay so initiation by air look at that see how the birds are coming out of the heart it's realization. This is realization. Okay, you have a strong and powerful mind. Yeah, the mind can be oh, sorry. The mind can be a great asset. It can bring comfort, peace, and strength as you take your spiritual journey. It can also be a dark and destructive force, undermining your power, make you doubt your own heart, and keeping you trapped in fear. The mind developed developed without a loving spiritual practice can be a frightening weapon rather than a liberating sword. How will you choose to use your mind power? How would you, how would you choose to use your mind power? Didn't I say that? The sword, we talked about the sword. So, right, I remember here I was saying, it's up to you, are you gonna go like a, like a folly, like a crazy person, or are you gonna let things come to you? Right, I said that. Are you going to go like a crazy person or are you going to let things come to you? Because that's what Spirit is advising you to do right here, right now. Cancer. Sit back, fall back. And receive your abundance. Fall back and receive the abundance. Okay? All right, let's get an angel card, angel message for cancer. You're stepping in your air energy. You are. North Node is there, you know. It's about time, cancer. We can be super overly emotional and stuff. I finally, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to talk about me, yeah. I'm a cancer, so just as an example, maybe some of you... I'm feeling the same. I told you guys, I'm not emotional anymore. I mean, I'm not depressed. Why am I annoyed? Because I'm not in my feelings. You know when you're in your feelings, that's when you get depression. I'm annoyed because I'm thinking. Annoyance is more um, intellectual. You know what I mean? Depression is emotions. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. So I'm not depressed. I'm annoyed. And, and I feel stuck, chariot in reverse. I feel like I'm, I feel stuck, you know, and that annoys me. But day by day, I tried to transmute that and be like, okay, there's nothing I can do about that. How can I do with what I have? So I'm gonna make a good meal. I'm gonna maybe drink, you know, make some tea blends. I'm gonna watch my favorite things, do some exercise talk to the people I love, spend some time with my son, you know, it's like, it, it's, there's no use in like thinking about like how stuck you are, how everything is in the world, you know, when you can't do anything about it, only thing you can do 
is something you know the only thing you have power over that you can change that you can work on and 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 fix and and mold so that it could soothe you and make you peaceful and calm and joyful the best you can is your environment immediate environment okay angel of claircognizance again that mind energy the sword like i told you downloads are coming so much air here but you're you you're 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 intuitive that never goes away so it's, it's like you're balancing that you know it's like now i don't know you're getting intellectual intuitive hits you know it's oh somebody said that it was verush tarot and it was amazing and it hit me and this is exactly it it's intuitive intelligence intuitive intelligence there you go angel of cognizance this is it intuitive intelligence lots of air energy and fire of course see we have no cups we have the Pisces here, and uh, we have you, Cancer, the chariot. Everything else is air and, and this fire. But this fire is coming towards you. It's the energy coming towards you. So watch out. Like I said, Aries is going to be, uh, Mars is going to be going into lots of aggression. And you are the light right now. And people are highly emotional. They're in Cancer waters right now. With Neptune and Pisces over there, you know. So it's like, whoo. A lot of people are emotional. They're not used to the waters like we are. This, this is our territory. So obviously they're going to attack you because you are going to be calm, Cancer. You are going to be holding it down and like a boss, like a lion, you know. So watch out for that, the aggression. Just realize that it's just the energy that they can't handle. Don't take it personal. All right, and you don't have to be a psychiatrist either for anyone because you have things to welcome in. You have blessings, abundance, and gifts from the universe to welcome in. And damn, do you deserve it, Cancer? How two years of eclipses, either in our sign or opposite us? I mean, whoa, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, Spirit, come on. I mean, what else do I have to do? I know, and I feel better. I'm like, I shouldn't say that, but I swear. But I know in my heart that something, the reward is here. It's near. I've worked too hard, you know. Damn, I've worked so hard, you know. Yeah, so believe in it, Cancer. <sighs> Sit back and wait for it. It's coming. It's coming, okay? All right, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Happy birthday, my Cancers. And I have an Instagram now for my channel specifically, so I will link that below. Thank you. Bye. And I have a donation button on my homepage, like the, the YouTube channel. When you click on it, it's like a little, I think it's a green heart. If you would like to donate, I would appreciate it so much, but you are not obliged. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care.